Okay, here we're going to look at another example involving logical gates. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to draw a circuit rec representing a Boolean expression here. And again, converting back and forth between Boolean expressions and circuits is something that's very useful. So again, the notation I'm going to use, this will be our OR gate. Again, some people have commented that without a little circle, it's a buffer. Again, I'm following the notation that my discrete math book has in it, so I'm going to follow their convention, and that's going to be my OR gate. My NOT gate is going to look like a little uh, just triangle on its side, and then my AND gate kind of looks like a big old D there. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of work inside out. So I see two expressions separated by this OR statement. So I'm going to have an OR gate in this case. So there's my OR gate. And again, the statement that I want to be coming out will be the final statement. So not Y and not Z or all of this other stuff. W and not X and not y, and we're going to take the complement or not all of that. So those are the, this is what we want our output to be. So we're going to have, we're going to have two inputs, and one input I would like to be that's going to, that's going to come into the, the OR gate. One statement I want to be not y and not z. And the other statement that I want to be entering into our OR gate will be the, the, the second expression here. So, so we've got W and not X and not Y. And again, we're going to not that whole statement. All right. So we're basically just going to sort of uh, peel things off one layer at a time. So let's let's look at the top branch here. We'll work on that one first. I think it'll take a couple a couple less steps. So what we have is we have an and uh, an and between two statement two two statements not y and not z. So I'm going to create an and gate. And again, coming into our and gate, we would want those two statements. We would want we would want not y. And then we would want not z. Okay, so in this case, what we would do, again, if we keep following back, to to kind of undo the not or to 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 make the not y appear, well, we would need a not gate. And coming into that, we would simply need the variable y. Same thing for for z. Uh, we would want Z to go through a NOT gate to get NOT Z. And now if you follow all the branches together, we'll end up with our statement NOT Y and NOT Z. Okay, so that sort of takes care of the, the, uh, this first statement on the left. So now all we have to do is just, again, kind of keep backtracking to create the, uh, the other gates that would produce this, this second expression. So again, I'm definitely going to run out of space here, so let me move everything over a little bit. Okay, so if you kind of peel off a layer, uh, we would like to get rid of this NOT statement, or we would like the INSIDE statement to be going through a NOT gate. So there's our NOT gate. So coming into that, we would have the expression w and not x and not y. Okay, so let me give myself a little more room here. And now what we're going to do, okay, so now we've got an and statement. So just looking at my and part here. So I'm going to create an and gate. And the, the and is in between the statement w and not x, and it's also uh, the other part would be not y. Okay, so to get the not y part, again, what we would do is we would create our not gate, and our input there would simply be y. Okay, so now we're getting pretty close again. Now we've got another and statement between w and not x. 
So I'm going to give myself a bit more space here. So I'm going to create an AND gate. Here's my little AND gate. And my inputs into that, I would like to have, well, simply W. And then my other input I would like to have would be not X. So again, the last thing that we'll do is create our not gate. And our input there would simply be X. And now we've got, we've got our circuit that would give us our final statement here. So I'll kind of move this all over again from left to right. But again, all you're doing is sort of working inside out and just uh, sort of stripping away a layer at a time. So again, you could certainly draw this a little bit maybe uh, more compactly than my picture here. But again, that's all there is to it.